every composer will tell you, writer's block. It's one of the most frightening things. You sit behind that piano and every masterwork ever written on the planet is playable on that keyboard. You just need to press them in the right order and you can create your masterpiece yourself. And you start playing something, it's like, uh-uh, that's not it. Or the first five, six notes that you hit is like, oh, interesting. And then you want to, you know, to experiment and to try stuff. You start playing more and playing more and something starts to come out of it. And that's the, the magic of creation. I come from a family where everybody was musical, everybody was making music. My mom played violin and flute. My dad was like a mouth harmonica player. And so it was always there. And so it was the most natural thing to do. When I was 17, I started working at a music store and they started selling most of what, <laughs> what we're seeing here uh, in this room. That for me was like, wow. And I knew from that point on, like, the combination of that with what I knew as a traditional musician, that would be it for me. Conrad, yeah? I have uh, um, a request, if that's OK. OK. I, I have an idea. <laughs> with Mortal Engines, Tom is trying to bring film scoring and orchestral writing into the 21st century by combining so many elements in a unique way. I had a long conversation with Christian about what this movie needed to be musically. I take that information back, and then I start writing, patching up stuff on this wall, and to see what can I get out of this. Beautiful, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> it has been such a lovely collaboration to work with these exceptional filmmakers. They really make you feel comfortable, you know, being very expressive. So for me, that's very important, because I love what I do, and I have this insane amount of creative energy in my system that just needs to come out. And if I don't do it, I just get generally very, very unhappy. My name is Tom Holkenborg, and I am the composer of Mortal Engines.